Well, the newest craze in weight loss is very popular with babies, and there <laughs> might finally be a solution for promiscuous cats. Ooh, you nasty. Are you confused? Yes. Well, Dr. Lord Professor Cody Stark is here to slap you with science. Wow, that's uh, putting a lot of pressure on me. Thank you. <laughs> All right, look, everyone. Someone pointed a laser at Jupiter. Oh. Oh, just kidding. It's the glow from a bolt of lightning. Uh oh. Hey, here you are. Uh, you're going to look at a vortex near Jupiter's North Pole. This image was captured by the Juno mission. The image was actually captured on December 30th, 2020, but it was only processed last year and released this week. Uh -huh. They had to take it to a Kmart and then they Ow. put it through that machine mm -hmm. and then you get your pictures yeah, after that. Yeah. In the coming months, Juno's orbits will repeatedly take it close to Jupiter, Jupiter as the spacecraft passes over the giant planet's night side, which will provide even more opportunities to catch lightning in the act. Very cool. That's kind of cool. I also like the night side. The night side. Oh, hey, hey, Jupiter, don't be showing you me your, your night side. <laughs> You've been this on. Ooh. Oh. All right, speaking of the act, there may be a new option to control the population of feral cats. Oh. Kitty birth control. That's right, kitty cat birth control. I mean. Scientists have announced a potential new method of feline con contraception that's shown early promise long lasting contraceptive injections that prevent ovulation. The proof of concept study wanted to address the overpopulation of animals in shelters and living on the street. Mm. The injection itself. Uh, it attaches itself to the muscle cells, which are extremely long-lived, helping the birth control effect stick around. None of the female cats in the study became pregnant after two stud cats were introduced. Introduced, huh? Do you think they had, like, name tags? Hello, my name is Stud Cat. Hey, girl. Uh, it will likely take several years for the procedure to gain necessary approvals and mass production to become available in veterinarian offices. We're trying to reach out to Bob Barker for a comment, but we imagine he's pretty psyched about this. I can't. I can't with you. <laughs> <laughs> you can slap with science. Go to your home. Are you too good no, for your no, home? Okay. A new uh, product to fight obesity and diabetes was under our nose this whole time, or if you're a child, maybe up in your nose. What? Peas. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> a uh, species of wrinkled pea, oh. which food scientists are now turning into flour. The oh. British made substitute has already been used to make pasta. But why is it healthier than typical flour or even flour made from, you know, smooth peas? Mm. Because the wrinkled peas are packed with what nutritionists call a resistant starch, a type of carbohydrate that makes our digestive systems work harder to produce and break down the sugar after eating them. Huh. Now, results from small controlled experiments use wrinkled pea flour showed improvements in blood glucose up to 50%. Wow. Yeah. From the wrinkled pea. Yeah. Big wrinkled pea. Sent that out there. <laughs> Human. Slap for science. <clears throat> I feel like there was a, a resistant yeah. starch okay. joke in there, but it wasn't going to come out user friendly. So even if wrinkled peas could make me drop some weight, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Wrinkled peas. All right, there you go. You've been slapped with science. Thank you, sir.